Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forex pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, so let's keep up with our euro currency analysis. Yesterday, as we have warned you that it might be a bit tricky action on euro currency based on the performance that we've got, some patterns have been formed, but uh, in, in general action has become even more cunning than we suggested initially. Anyway, the direction that we set uh, yesterday was mostly correct as euro currency indeed was able to climb a bit higher. So, in fact, some tension between the euro currency setup and what we have on the dollar index keep uh, keep standing here. As you could see, that dollar uh, on, on the dollar index, the double repo pattern shows some progress recently. Although we've got inside session, and actually market hasn't set new low, but it was able to move slightly deeper back to the lows that have been set the day before. So in general, we could say that this bearish action on the dollar index keep going. The minimum target of this pattern, as you know, this double repo, usually the 50% of the thrust. So it's around 93.25. It means that dollar index still has some potential to drop a bit more. Currently, market stands at the 30% level. So if I was put at this level here, you'll see it clearly that market stands for a second session here. It's also the previous top. But this double repo has been formed. Well, at least we should be ready that market will move slightly lower and hit the 50% level. Correspondingly, it could support the euro currency just because it trades in relation to the United States dollar and if dollar becomes weaker and it's supportive to the euro. And from that standpoint, uh, we should be ready that market could show a bit higher upward action. In fact, Currently, market is struggling with a very strong resistance that we have discussed previously, and, and as we already have cut the first bounce out from it, the strength of the resistance still keep working and hold the price from the further appreciation, because this is previous lows, as you can see on the daily chart, natural resistance, FIB level, previously it also was overbought, right now overbought has moved a bit slightly, slightly move higher. And uh, that is also the OP target that we have discussed previously and we have traded actually, that was reason why we have taken short position in the beginning of the week here. So uh, the crumbers that have been formed recently has been erased by this drop, but still after that market shown the upper direction. So we can see, as I said, action was even more cunning than we thought. Um, here's we have the grabber, but well, personally, I wouldn't pay too much attention to it because with the context that we have, hardly we will see that the scrub will work straightforward and this market will start dropping lower. It's more important to consider the shape that price will take in this area because take a look on the hourly chart. On the hourly chart, market is coiling around the confidence resistance as actually stands around the major level. We already talked about this many times, so I do not want to repeat it again. So market currently is calling below the resistance. Recent drop was very small. This market is tr trying to move lower, but was not able to complete even a B equals CD type of action. So here's was probably 618 extension, just to retest the previous loss and return at the cup again. This reminds me of uh, the consolidation of the price, some kind of the preparation for a possible challenge of the resistance or it's when it happens where every time when the market stands on the tight range right below the resistance. Something of that sort was right here. If you remember on Friday and the weekend, we discussed this triangle and said market stands tight under resistance also was a resistance. And then it has been broken. So here's we could get the same. At least in the current moment, I wouldn't consider taking any short position with the double repo sell pattern on the dollar index on the back. And with this consolidation on euro, so probably it would be better to stay aside for any 
short position by far. For taking the long position, you have to be sure that here we're getting something continuation. I mean the pattern. If market will start to take the triangle shape here, that will be something that you could use. So if we will get something on that sort, as you can see here, that might be the indication that market is preparing for a challenging of the resistance. So this will be continuation type of pattern. And theoretically, you could consider in this case, maybe taking the long position on your accounts, it suggests that market could move slightly higher. If we will get some clear continuation patterns might be much better. For instance, the butterfly also could be formed inside of the triangle. So that's the all things that we're usually watching. So you probably know it pretty nice right now. If indeed we will see some bullish signs here, market could follow to the next destination point, which is XOP based on the same ABCD pattern and stands around 1730. If you'll take a look at the daily chart, 1730 stands right between this level. So it, 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 it is 50% uh, resistance of the thrust, which is favorable level for your currency. It usually shows 50% retracements. And that will be the daily ever, but probably uh, the final thing that's uh, well also important that actually this 1730 agrees with the dollar index 9325, which is also will be the 50% level. So that's our conclusion currently on the euro currency. So we think that in this moment, at least at this moment, we do not have any bearish signs. First, second, it is even could be bullish signs be formed here. And uh, this should keep us aside from any short position by far. Speaking about the long position, well, theoretically, we suppose that uh, we could get this setup for taking the long position, but it is not ready yet. So we need a bit more information about the current price shape. We need to be sure that this is continuation par pattern is that market stands tightly near the resistance. When we will see that market is coiling right below the resistance, that will be uh, some indication that uh, upper breakout attempt could follow. So this is the things that we have currently on the year.